What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another training guide. Today we are taking a look at the free Bruno Fernandez card which is part of the anniversary celebration. So this is for the mobile anniversary celebration gift. You get it as a free login. So it's just a login bonus lads. You get this. You don't have to do anything. You will be able to unlock this very very easily by simply logging into the game. So we do have Bruno here. He's untrained. He's unleveled up. He is a whole player, and we're going to take a quick look at his card um, as you look at him here, right? So the first thing you're going to notice about him as a whole player is that he's going to pick up a lot of really nice positions, especially with the formation that you're playing. Check out my anti-meta video, video, video if you haven't already, and that will cover a lot of points as to what a whole player does when you see his play style, okay? If you are a newcomer as well, it's always nice to look at players that go high-ranked and high-rated, but also, keep in mind the role that you want him to do with your club um, and at your starting 11. You know, there's no point having him in if you don't play possession and you don't pass the ball around and you don't depend on the AI runs of a whole player, right? Now, there are a couple of things that do stand out for this card. Obviously, we have the heel trick and we have Marseille turn and soul control, which is always nice. We also have one touch pass, true passing and pinpoint crossing, right? Which is unusual um, for this card as well because we don't have double touch and it's, in, it's unusual because usually those type of hold players do have it. Outside curler is going to be nice. Gamesmanship, that's just when your AI is being controlled um, by the CPU or whatever. Um, you know, sometimes you get more freeze than that. I mean, it doesn't really make that much of a difference. But the big thing for him here, the big thing going for him is the fact that he's obviously a free card. Now, there are a lot of other hold players that you can get here. But I actually do think that Bruno is a very good card to get, especially as you're getting him for 100% free. So we're going to show you two different versions of him here over on eFootballDB. Um, the first one we're going to show, we're going to do that in real time, and we're going to show you um, a player that I would potentially use, and that's the way I'm going to probably train him up, right? So he's got 28 levels to go, which, look, it isn't too bad because you have, um, I'm just on the screen here, if you, have, if you are looking to get Bruno in, and you're looking to get him into a position where um, you're going to be on the ball a lot and shooting a lot, I do think that you need to kind of train him up into, in a specific way, if that makes sense, right? Um, so for me, I would always be looking at, at kind of what role I want to play him in. So we'd have two different players of him. And obviously with those 28 levels as well, we do want to have him in that position a lot of the time if we are going to be shooting. So the first version of him I'm going to have is a player that's going to be shooting a lot. Because of his lack of pace right? We don't need to focus too much on um, his dexterity. We're obviously going to be playing him as a whole player, so we do want to get his dribbling and tight possession up fairly fairly high, um, and we do want to obviously get the dexterity up as well. Not so much for the acceleration, but for the balance. Balance is a really key stat if a player doesn't have high physical contact and he doesn't have a lot of um, height or weight, right? There is a lot to get into that in to be honest, there's no point really overcomplicating it too much because it doesn't come in um, that, you know, effective. Uh, it's not that effective when you look at it, but, you know, it can it can get, get you more chances. If you look at the likes of uh, Rafael or Leon, what's his name? Um, Leo from AC Milan. Sorry, lads, I'm going to go slow today. But yeah, if you are looking at him here, this is how I would train him up. It would be kind of maxing out his passing. You're still going to get that offensive awareness. You're still going to have a bit of stamina here as well with speed, which isn't too bad. And then the rest of the stats, you can pop in to that as well. So that would be one version of him. It's a 94 rated attacking midfielder, um, which I think is probably one of the best attacking midfielders that you could get this card to, right? Now, the biggest problem with this card is his lack of speed, lack of pace, and lack of explosiveness, really. He is kind of a different player. And if you don't shoot a lot, you are going to be missing out on this card. I kind of sim simplify this card um, into kind of like the Messi role, right? A lot of Messi's cards don't have that electric pace. As in, you know, if you're not shooting curl shots with Messi and you don't take a lot of snapshots with him or touch and goals with him, um, then you're not you're you're better off using kind of a hard working, really fast acceleration, really fast kind of speedy. AMF that has got exceptionally good dribbling and passing right that has the mix of them all and there are players like that that have a mix of everything so they'll have you know 85 plus low pass they'll have 80 um five or six plus dribbling ball control and type possession plus they'll also have 85 um you know more acceleration with higher balance than Bruno so that's kind of the biggest downfall of this card right but if you are looking for a different version of him and we'll do it really quickly right here we can neglect a lot of the finishing here. We don't need to pump up too much of the finishing, to be honest, because we're going to get the boost once we've two into that. We are on the form error because he's on a form. We are going to get the boost to that. 
um, to be able to still score goals with him. The passing tracks up really well. Uh, all we're going to do with the passing is again go to that 88-90. We do want him in that little pocket, but we want him to be more of a kind of a dribbler and more explosive. So once we get to 10 on that, or once we get to 90 on the ball control, that's all we really want on that. Again, we're only going to go to 70 on the speed here for the time being. But if we go 12 on that, we will get the offensive awareness up, we will get the acceleration up, and we'll get the balance up to the 90 for the offensive awareness, 80 plus for acceleration, and 80 plus for balance once we do get that um, down as well, you know, with the former, right? So he goes to the same, it's a 94 overall rated card. Um, I personally think that Bruno is a good card, but I just feel like that there's a lot of better players there. But I would definitely make two decisions on him, right? The first decision is whether you want to play him as a finisher. If you're going to be playing him as a finisher, I would even sacrifice a lot of the stats that you have here. I would probably keep him at 75 balance, but I would definitely try and max out that finishing as best as I possibly could because that's the role that we're going to play him in. We're going to be playing him as a really good dribbler, really good passer, and a really good finisher. If you're looking for a more kind of electric-paced player, um, you can really kind of like this, you know, disregard the shooting. It's not going to make a massive difference to this card, in my opinion. Um, now, if you if you want to pop one in there, you can. But I definitely think having him more kind of speedy and zippy, you're not going to be able to to turn him into you know um, some of the faster attacking midfielders in the game. And just to show you my point, lads, right, is this is Bernardo Silva, who's available as a free player with the five-star MVP pack that you can get a nominating contract. And this is what I'm talking about when you have a different comparison between different players that play attack and midfielder. You can see here with Silva, he's got 89 acceleration, a whopping 97 balance, and 92 offensive awareness. He's got ball control, dribbling, tight possession, low pass, and lofted pass that will all be in the high 80s or low 90s once you get that boost. And 99 balance when you get that boost with the form arrow. So, you know, when you are comparing him with the likes of Bruno, you're not going to have that zip in his step or that pep in his step. Um, so that's just something to keep in mind. Now, he is a fantastic player. Don't get me wrong. He is a good player. I've been impressed with him. But I just think that there's a lot of better players out there. But he is free. If you were going out to buy Bruno, I would say, yeah, you know, don't bother or don't use a nominating contract on him. You know, get Silva or get, you know, Caicedo or get somebody like that that would fit your team a bit better. Um, you have a decision to make, I think, if you're playing a whole player. I will do a video on whole player very soon. I'm working my way through a lot of the different play styles. But I know that we're due a big upgrade soon. I will have news soon when I'm able to speak about it. Um, but there is some good, exciting stuff coming very, very soon. So keep it locked to me and I will, yeah, give you the facts. No clickbait. It'll just be facts. And I'll give you a few hints and tips if you're paying attention. So, yeah. All right, lads. We will talk to you later. I will be back in a bit. Peace.